Yo, what is up, my peeps? We are back for another video. Positivity. This is going to be a positive video. So I'm sure you guys know I have like, so basically I have like the release rewind series I'm doing. I guess also it's kind of a bit of a mini series. Um, Worst designs ever in Dokkan history. Well, today I'm going to start, you know, on the positive side of that spectrum. And we will be talking about some of the best designs in history. Um, so I picked six units. Um, we're going to we're going to keep keep it very brief because listen, the more brief I keep it, the more content that's being made. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all going to have to tune in. Y'all going to tune in to some more. But um, yeah. So I don't know. This this was this was the video I was talking about. Um, that I mentioned in my community post. I just wanted to, I wanted I wanted to make sure I get all my facts right. I want to make sure, like, okay, am I mis misremembering something? Am I, you know, it, it, am I being am I a little jaded with this kind of unit? Am I being a little bit too biased? Am I being a little bit too harsh on this other unit? Uh, so yeah. Definitely, it took me a couple of days. It took me a couple of days, but um, without further ado, cause you know, I don't listen. I don't, I don't like to keep y'all with long intros. Let's get it on and cracking. So the first unit. Oh, again, like you know, these aren't in order. These are not in order. Um, LR Kill and Khalifa. I am not talking about their Easy A, but if you want to talk about their Easy A, they suck. Before Easy A, when they dropped, listen, listen. Let me rap to y'all real quick. They were the best unit in the game by far. Okay? I'm sorry. I know I know y'all hate the characters. Me personally, I don't really hate them that much. Like they're they're whatever to me. It was a cool fight with Goku. Fine. I don't hate these characters. I know some of y'all really do. And I, I am a firm believer of the hate for a certain character or the hate for their animations or what have you can blind a person to how they actually perform. And, it, you know, it, it happens to everybody. It happens to a lot of people. Um, no, these girls were the best in the game. Um, they were better than, like, everybody else at Rainbow. They didn't even need to be Rainbow, and I think they were still better. I think if you got them a dupe, like, they were still better. Because, um, remember, the hard content around 2019, the, what was the hard content? You had Super Battle Road, right? They were still great in. But then you had the legendary Goku event, man. You had the legendary Goku event. These girls were killers. They were killers in there. Because, look at, look, keep up with me. Keep up with me. Well, they had dodged with each attack performed. Already insane, right? Um, They get key, so they had no problems with key. They were full of key links. They were full of key links. But here's where, here's where it got, you know, crazy. They could super once, right? They would get an additional super if there was a universal survival saga enemy. That's two. They would get one if there's a pure Saiyan enemy. We're, we'll circle back around to that. And then they would get one from their hit of potential. Here's the thing, though. These stacked. So let's say if you were fighting, I don't know, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku, he is a universe survival saga category unit and a pure saiyan they would get two additionals they would get two additional supers and then you would get the hidden potential they'd be supering almost four times stacking their defense each time by the time you got to int ui these girls have like 800k defense you use an android a item they were over a million these girls were it they were it wonderful wonderful units and honestly i would say it like this i think dokkan really hated this unit because every unit that came after them paled in comparison they paled in comparison and i think that's why they made their easy a so bad like they did nothing for their easy a and i knew that was gonna happen i knew their easy a was gonna suck um but specifically talking about this unit right here this is one of the most tight designs i have ever seen in my life in Dokkan history. Incredible, wonderful time. It was hilarious seeing everybody hate on them. You know, Khalifa with the tingly back. It was freaking comedy. Freaking comedy. All right. Um next, 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 next. 
Um, wait a second. Is that? Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next is Super Vegito. S-T-R-L-R Super Vegito. Now, the base form, you know, the base form is solid. They were definitely solid. You know, they got the job done. Uh, around the time, around like this level of content, they, they got the job done, most definitely. Red Zone wasn't a thing yet. Uh, so it was Super Battle Road. You had the legendary GT Goku event, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right? Was that there? I don't remember if that was there or not. Um, but yeah. So, you know, uh, they had the damage reduction. Back then, 30% damage reduction was definitely considered a big thing. So they were fine. But then you transformed. And then it was just like, wow. First of all, the heal. Amazing. Amazing. And I wish more characters would do that. But he would counter with every attack. And he had a medium chance of performing a crit on every counter. Now, this is not always my problem with Vegito units. They were counter, 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 counter. But it will always be without crits. So it wouldn't do that much damage. This guy could crit. Especially if you built him full crit in the potential system as well. It was insane. But this is not even the best part. He got five key and he had a scouter for 10 turns after this guy came out. 10 turns. Insane. This guy was incredible. Incredible. His only weakness was that defensively, he wasn't too great. But this is one of those units where it's just like, he output so much damage to where I feel like the defense wasn't even that much of a, a factor. He output so so, like, Vegeta would kill bosses himself. He would dang near kill bosses himself. Uh, seven crit counters, a double super, more crit counters after he, atta after he attacks. Uh, this guy would kill bosses himself. He would. Amazing link set. Uh, amazing categories he was on. Uh, great leader skill. He, bro... This guy was incredible. The animations were on point. Amazing. 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 Amazing unit. Amazing unit. Um, next. We have Cooler. Um, I guess you could specifically talk about his um pre-EZA or his EZA one, but I'm gonna talk about his pre-EZA. Uh when this guy came out, he was like clearly number one. He was like clearly number one TUR in the game. Definitely. This guy was incredible when he dropped. He was the best. Was he the best villain in Dokkan at the time? I think he was. Even over the LRs. Like, I think he was just the best villain in Dokkan at the time. It was incredible. And it wasn't even really because of this form. Although this form, you had the support, which was amazing. Um, he, he lowered attack, which, you know, Super Battle Road was incredibly handy. But it's this. A pure hybrid Saiyan. That was so easy because of the legendary Goku event. Right? You transformed. Guaranteed crits. Yes. Guaranteed crits. Insane. The damage this guy would output was just incredible. He, he could quad super quad crit. Against a pure Hyper Saiyan enemy. He was decimating the Goku event. He was decimating Super Battle Road. This guy was a killer. He was a killer. Guys, I'm telling you. If you were there, this guy was incredible. Like, it was so funny. Like, every unit that came out after him, it's like, Android 13 came out after this guy. And he felt, like, way worse. It's like it felt like they took a step back in his design. Cause it was Future Gohan first, who was incredible. I loved that Future Gohan. And then it was this guy. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I, bro. Insane. I and it was so happy. This is remember, this is around the time villain wasn't villains weren't getting as mistreated like a redheaded stepchild like they are in 2023. You know, they, they actually knew how to make good villains. Um yeah. 
th- this was around that time, and it was just a wonderful time. It was just a healthy time for Dokkan. Just a healthy, healthy time for the game, for its community, for all of that. All right, next, we have physical <laughs> raddits. Um, okay, so like, where do I start with physical raddits? Look at that leader skill. His leader skill is impeccable. All jokes aside, his leader skill is amazing, right? But then look at this. Like, greatly raised attack and defense for one turn. That's a 50% buff. He was, he was tanking freaking Metal Cooler Core. He was tanking... Uh, DBS Broly. He was tanking. He could he could hit every enemy on the field. He could hit every enemy on the field, man. Look at this. Attack and defense was fifty percent when when performing a super attack when facing only one enemy. Bro, come on, man. Crazy. Two key after delivering a final blow. Come on, that's the best ability in the game right there. We all know that. Raditz was a number one T-U-R on release. Put me down for saying it. I'm a Raditz defender. Raditz was the number one T-U-R on release. Raditz over everybody. Raditz over Beast Gohan. Thank you. Raditz over Beast Gohan. Raditz was better. Thank you. All right, getting back to the actual list. We have... <laughs> okay, so for the last two, um, these are kind of a package deal. I put Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Uh, we can get rid of the new tabs now. Uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Um, Gamma 1, right? Um, he guarded. Gamma 1 was definitely the defensive ace of the two. He had 50% damage reduction. Um, he guarded for the first four turns. They changed this to a nullification, which was wonderful. Um... He supported along with Gamma 2. Gamma 2 supported as well. So it was meant, they were meant for them two to be used together. Um, but they complemented each other so well because they had six out of seven links. Um, both of them were incredible and they both served their role. Gamma 1 was a defensive role, Gamma 2 was an offensive role. Now, of course, with Gamma 2 being the offensive role, he's starting to, you know, unfortunately. The coolest robot around. He's starting to age a bit. He's still good. Do not get me wrong. He's still pretty good. And will still help you out. Of course. In stages. But um. Yeah. Uh, th- these two may be starting to age a little bit. But for when they released. They had tight designs. This guy you could throw in slot 1. This guy you would throw in slot 2. With freaking quintuple super. This guy was tanking. Uh, red zone bosses like red zone metal cooler core he was tanking him he was broly he was tanking him uh gamma 2 could definitely put a little tank job in there too provided he gets his supers early and you get like at least three he would he would definitely um well i'll say at least two but he would definitely put a little tank job on not as good as gamma one but it w- he would definitely show up but yeah i think these two complemented each other so well and they had such tight designs when they released and they were just such fun times it was a fun time when they released but hope you guys enjoyed the other side of the worst design units of all time spectrum the best some of the best units uh designs in dokkan battle history like and subscribe for more dokkan battle content such as this i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one i'm out peace